Welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed, we are going over these red dot optics here from North Tax. So they reached out to us a while back and asked if we were interested in reviewing them. Took a look at what they had and uh, said yes, because I think they have some good things going for them for what they offer uh, the consumer. So before we get into the individual red dots themselves, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is Aventon. So uh, for those of you who don't know, they make electric bikes and they are awesome. I have one in, I will be doing a review but the thing is a smile machine. Every single person that rides it comes away with the biggest grin on their face. It's super awesome, but they also own their manufacturing from start to beginning. Uh, their frames are created in such a way that they're uh, usable with most aftermarket bike accessories so you don't need to buy e-bike specific stuff um, loaded with features guys they have lights brakes they have some designed for off-road some designed for the city some a little bit in between but again thanks to Aventon for the sponsorship now let's get into these dots up close and personal North Tech actually makes three different red dot models that are virtually the same with a couple differences so this one here is going to be similar to what you'd see with your like holo suns where it will come with a low mount like we have here it'll also come with a lower one-thirds mount and you can swap in between and it takes any aim point compatible mount so any aim point micro compatible mount then they have one that looks just like this however this is all one piece it's not separate in terms of the mount and the optic itself um, so very solid design in that regard and then they offer this one which as you can see just has a solid aluminum uh, lower one-thirds mount on there as well a little bit more durable for sure uh, they also all come with an anti-reflective device that you can screw on or screw off as you see here so they're threaded for that it's a standard uh, industry standard rather thread pattern so if you have a particularly anti particularly favorite rather anti-reflective device you can go ahead and throw that on there or you can just run it without either way is up to you um, on the mounts the lower one-third mounts have this screw system with that spring built in as you guys can see there it's very solid very durable um, i've had zero issues at all with any of the mounts which is nice it's what you'd expect this one here, the mount, allows you to see through it. So if you have some guns, like for instance a Strybog, which has those low flip-up sights, you could actually still see them uh, through this particular optic. They uh, work on CR2032 batteries, and your battery life is going to be anywhere from two to five years, depending on the setting that you're at. It has a shake-awake system as well, so real-world battery is probably going to be even longer than that. It's auto-offs itself after four hours and then the slightest movement will wake it up. Um, I've had zero issues at all with that not working correctly. It's always worked correctly in my use, so not mad about that. Our, um, our windage and elevation are hooded by the actual optic itself. So you can see that big block of aluminum comes up. Same is true for both of them, for all of the optics as well. Additionally, this is something I harp on, long time viewers on the channel will know, I want to see which way I'm moving it without having to turn my head around the actual optic and uh, our windage and elevation. They have that little O-ring seal on there and then positive clicks all the way around. Each of the little turrets there will tell you which way you're going and each click is going to be half MOA value, which for most red dots is all folks will ever want. But I'll quiet down here and see if you guys can actually hear the clicks. I'll bring it closer to my microphone. So it's very tactile, very audible in that regard. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a drop test here to see how it's gonna hold up. I'd imagine it's gonna do just fine. Uh, but for those that don't know, MP5s are very heavy guns and particularly in the configuration that we have it here, it's heavier than most of your AR-15s, which is kind of crazy. I understand that. But we're gonna make sure it's zero, drop it on this piece of wood and uh, see what happens. All right, we are on. At this point, hopefully I'm gonna hit it, we'll see. All right, pretty direct hit right there. 
Doesn't appear to have jacked anything up. Dot is still on. Let's see. So in terms of uh, durability, I doubt most people are ever gonna do anything worse than that in terms of dropping it. And of course we have HK claw mount as well, which is sketch to be, <laughs> begin with, but works just fine. Seems to retain zero. Everybody likes drop tests. It is what it is. But uh, a few other things to talk about here before we close the video out. Obviously they're nitrogen purged as well. They're gonna be water resistant. I believe IPX8 in that regard. So I don't know that we would take them scuba diving, but in terms of hunting a patrol car being something like that, they should be just fine. I've had these in now for probably seven or eight months, multiple thousands of rounds through them and have had zero issues of any kind with them. That said, there's a con to it. And anybody who's ever used a uh, loophole LCO might know what I'm talking about. So I didn't notice this for months. So probably a thousand or more rounds went through guns with these optics on it before I noticed it. But uh, every LED based red dot optic has a refresh rate. It just is what it is. They're all different. And uh, some optics in order to extend battery life, they slow down the refresh rate. Now, like I said, I didn't notice this for a long time because you really only perceive it in certain lighting conditions. So when it was like dusk ish, or even like right now we have a storm rolling through um, and it's just not that bright out. If you scan from target to target very quickly looking through the optic, you can notice a slight uh, flickering and it's not a flickering. It's just the dot going on and off on and off on and off because again that's how leds work and it's a little bit slower than say like an aim point would be um, so that is going to be the con of these optics the pro of it uh there's a lot number one if you want a solid uh, mounting system in terms of an optics mount. This is about as solid as it gets. The same is true with the one that I don't have, which has a dedicated low mount on there where it's just built in there. It's rock solid. Uh, I can't see a situation under normal use where that mount would break. That's not the case for say Holosuns. I love Holosuns, don't get me wrong, but I've broken two of their mounts. Um, it's just is what it is. It's not as durable of a design. The mounts all have the lug built into them as well for 1913 rails, which is nice. It's added durability um, over just using the screw crossbar. So you have both there. Um, and like I said, all, they all come with a kill flash, which I do like. They all come with the battery and have the directional signaling. They have the protected uh, windage and elevation. So all in all, it's kind of a lot for the money. Now, the money is one reason that I agreed to uh, actually get one of these in for review because if this thing costs $200, I would have said no because it's not really providing my viewers any type of value. Uh, but I believe the MSRP on these right now is $119. However, I just went online and was looking and found every single one of these, all three of the versions that I talked about here for $73 shipped, um, which is a great value in my opinion. Like I said, I've not had any issues, any failures, anything like that. It has a slow refresh rate. That's the downside of it. But other than that, guys, these mounts have been rock, rock solid. We will continue using them going forward. Um, and if that changes, we will let you guys know. But with that, that's really all I have for you guys. If you like this type of video and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you've done that, you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. If you've done both of those, head over to the website here on your screen and you can sign up for my email list. So that email only goes out once a month at most. And uh, so that way there's not an algorithm separating your eyes from my content. Additionally, if these go on sale, anything goes on sale lights, handrails, stock mounts, all of those sorts of things, magazines, ammo, if those things go on sale, you can sign up for my daily deals email at the website here on your screen. It goes out every day as the name indicates and it has the best deals that I find around the internet. If it's in the email, it's the cheapest price that I know of anywhere on the internet on that particular day. So that way you guys can save yourself some time because I've already done the searching for you and hopefully save yourself some money as well. I think that's all I got for you. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.